Hitler's V-2 rockets were the world's first ballistic weapons, killers from space. 517 V-2s hit Britain's capital city. Others hit Paris and Antwerp. This devastating weapon went into development in the 1930s. But the Smithfield attack was launched only seven weeks before Hitler's death. Germany had all but lost the war. Hitler's army was depleted and starved of fuel. The Allies had bombed every weapons installation they could find. So how were the Germans still building and firing the most advanced weapon in the world? The Soviets destroyed everything else after the war. Just like that, we're in. They do have one important clue about the rocket program. The Nazis filmed many hours of their rocket tests. But where did those tests take place? Where were the rockets designed and built? This place is huge. To unlock those secrets, Pete and Marty must first peel back the present and reveal Peenemunde as it was 80 years ago. They've teamed up with a group of German researchers from the University of Osnabrück. Together, they've set up a makeshift HQ in the old power station. For the first time ever, they'll use LiDAR data gathered by the German government to create a virtual landscape in 3D. This amazing LiDAR technology uses lasers mounted on aircraft to strip away all the trees and ground cover. The results are astounding. LiDAR reveals the sheer scale of Peenemunde, a complex occupying 10 square miles. A vast array of buildings beyond the power station Hundreds of miles of roads, railway lines, and piping crisscross the island. Hitler's secret site is exposed. But how did this place work? There's not much to go on. Many vital documents were lost or destroyed. With the model at their fingertips, one feature immediately stands out a mysterious elliptical shape set apart from the rest of the site. So this feature, whatever it is, has clearly been heavily bombed, but what is that? Can we maybe zoom in on that, Andreas? It's well connected by road and rail and occupies some 300,000 square feet. It's clearly important, but what was it for? Using LiDAR as a map, Marty treks two and a half miles north and east from the power station to check it out. On the ground, it's clear that the donut is a great bank of earth, a berm. And in the center, Marty recognizes something important that they didn't pick up in the LiDAR. He's found a key that may unlock the geography of the site. This fire hydrant was made in Magdeburg, and it shows up in much of the motion picture film footage and the still photographs taken of tests that were conducted. Marty has spotted a hydrant just like this one in the Nazi test footage. It crops up again and again in shots of the test site. The weapon was mounted on the launch platform protected by the arena berm, so that personnel were protected on the outside in the event that something went wrong. And oh my God, when things went wrong, things went wrong dramatically. It was spectacular, the failures that occurred. The hydrant was essential for firefighting. 
explosions and fireballs were everyday hazards. And there's a huge concrete pit here. This is also clearly visible in the Nazi footage. Oh, wow. So this is for test stand seven. Test stand seven. It's the launch pad where prototype V2s were tested. It was the beating heart of the V2 rocket program. So in a way, this is the Nazi Cape Canaveral. 